Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. Welcome back to uh, Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Well, today we're gonna go ahead and uh, explore more of the castle, I suppose. Turn my volume down a bit in my ear. <laughs> so we want to head, uh, I think, to the left. No, 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 to the right, 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 right. We want to go up to the weapon shop. And a bit of a secret. We're probably not going to get out of, the town, out of the town today, really. Yeah, we get the pub here. And if you talk to this guy, he dances for some reason. I don't know why, he just kind of does. Well, that was exciting. You'd think there'd be more NPCs in the pub, but, well, there's not. Yeah, he's getting sick there. Man, look at this crack over here. Oh! <laughs> yeah, there's a secret passage over here. And it leads to the developer's office. Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. And... Yeah, you can, uh... Well, it's the 1991 developer's office, so... Oh, there's random battles here. A back attack. He's gonna use Libra on us. Oh, we're naive fools, huh? He's gonna cast Libra on himself. What? Oh, you're you're pretty weak, dude. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of uh, weak against all nighters. Scared of girls with specs, really weak. Wow. Can, can, can we just kill him? I, I didn't even attack you, dude. Yeah, uh, none of those guys are in the beastie area or anything. They're just, uh, they're just around. They're just, you know, kind of funny stuff. I'm Mr. S is. I'm assuming Sakaguchi. I've been framed! Anything in here? No, I don't think so. There is a lustful lolly ho somewhere. Oh, uh, really? This guy again? I just run. Thank you. <laughs> there are different ones. I'm not gonna show them all off. But I will talk to everybody. Uh oh! Get him! Don't worry about, you know, doing anything here. Oh! Well, congratulations! L l bye! It's a bit strange, but... Or, well, random, I suppose. What's in here? Ooh, the lustful lolly ho! Apparently there's a porn magazine there for some bizarre reason. Uh, it doesn't do anything in this game. Now, if you're playing the After Years, that's a different story. But in this game, just go ahead and use it. Why not? I like how he just looks around. Oh god, the music. Hmm. It's just so realistic. And educational. That work comes before play. Oh, we got a black mage in the party because Rosa and Rydia are hot apparently. I mean, sure, but I don't think you're too useful there. No more bucks. It's kind of cool that you can find like a hidden developer's room. And it is secret. I mean, you can miss it. There's nothing really to it, but it's cool. I think it's worth doing. I like to do it every time I play the game. It's just cool. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I imagining it or I imagine it is a pretty male dominated industry, huh?
Wait, is Sakaguchi a chocobo? Oh my god, yeah, he is. I forgot about that. I know uh, Umatsu's in this room somewhere. What are you doing? Oh. Ah, there's Uematsu. Thought that was a guy that tried to reset your game, but maybe that's a uh, different, different developer's room. Maybe a different game. I don't know. Uh oh. Um, sorry. Oh. Yeah, I don't think you can beat like any of those guys. There's probably one or two I missed, but whatever. I'm not overly concerned. Yeah, there's there's nothing in there. <laughs> Now we're going to go exit to the northeast. Uh, once we get back here, there's a bit of a... Well, there's a staircase. You know what? Let's talk to people. Why not? Yeah, no Dwarven party members in this game. Did I go over Rydia's stuff last time? I don't think I did, but... Uh, well, whatever. Uh, yeah, Rydia has high intellect, high spirit. Uh, she comes with... Well, again, she can use whips now, but whips are terrible. She can still use bows. She cannot use Rosa's white, uh, or like uh, like the Mithril Staff or any of Rosa's staffs. Uh, she can't use white mage staffs effectively anymore because she doesn't have white magic anymore. But who cares? I mean, she learned so little of it anyway. And she can summon now more effectively, so who cares? Uh, yeah, uh... Fire of Blizzara and Thundara, much like fire, are story spells. She only learns them when she comes back as an adult. Uh, you can't learn them through levels. But young Rydia, other than that, has the same spell learning list, other than the story spells. So, you can learn Fyraga, Blizzaga, and Thundaga for her before she has these spells, which is kind of funny. And, uh, yeah, she's, she's just all around good. She's a one-woman army. She's really, really good. Really, she's amazing. And she is permanent, so in the Steph version, go ahead and give her the, the silver apples. No reason not to. Dwarven Axe, that's eh, completely useless. I'll just sell that. So yeah, yeah, it's good stuff. She, she's amazing. She really is. She's amazing. Should be a Bacchus wine somewhere? Where is it? Where are you, Mr. Bacchus Wine? Yeah, it's in one of these pots, but there's like a million of the damn things. There it is. Oh, I actually wrote where it was. <laughs> Maybe I should have read that, actually, you know? Uh, okay, so there's going to be quite a few things to get here. We got... Well, an ether. Yeah, a bit of a secret passage. Silver hourglass. Eh, cool. Get an elixir. And the power armlet. Okay. Now, that piece of a piece of, uh, well, armor. Well, let's see. So, Cecil has 26 strength. So, if I equip that, he will have... No, wait. That's 31. I looked at the wrong thing. So it's 31 strength, 26 strength, so it's plus 5. So, let's take a look at what we got here. 41, if I equip that on Yang, I don't think he gets a, no, he does not get a multiplier. Normally, it's better on Yang. However, for right now, I'm probably going to use it on Cecil because I believe it will give him a multiplier. Uh, no, sadly, it doesn't. He's one off. Okay. He needs one more level. So we're gonna give it to Yang then. He's good by default. I think actually, I think Rosa or Rydia can equip that, oddly enough. Yeah, she can. So, you know, if you were using Rydia for whips, I'd actually give it to her. But I, I should try that one of these day, one of these times through, like try to use Rydia as more of a fighter. It is possible, but I, I don't recommend it. But she can equip uh, some strength boosting 
well, the power armor anyway. I think she can equip giant's gloves too. But whatever. Anyway, uh, yeah, Cecil really wants his defense anyway. So yeah, let's uh, let's head to the west here. We're gonna go to the west now. Since Cecil's more of a tank, especially in the DS version, but even in this version, you know. I got the infirmary over here. There is an item. Uh, not in here, I don't think. I think the red dwarves are female? Not that any of them are important, really. Uh, you could talk to that guy, but... Nah. Let's see, I think this one has a Gasol Greens? Yes, it does. Although... There's three of them, actually. There we go. Let's get those. Huh. You could use the end if you want, but I don't think that's wise. <laughs> Here's the West Tower. Could have gone there first, but... I figured to get the Gasol Greens. Uh, let's see, where am I going? All's well that ends well. There's the East Tower. Let's just talk to these guys. Yeah, Gobez didn't really retreat. He kicked our ass and then left. Actually, no, we beat the crap out of him and then he took the crystal and ran away, unfortunately. So I think the, there's a Bacchus wine in here. In fact, I know there's a pocket swine in here. I believe there is, anyway. I don't know which urn it is, but eh, it's somewhere. There it is. A nice pocket swine. Up the stairs. And let's uh, go nab a high potion. Yay. Uh, okay. So there is a secret passage. To get the black belt key. I want to equip that on Yang immediately. Uh, let's see. 46 strength. Equip that on Yang. 48 strength. And enough for an attack multiplier. Seven. Two. Eight. And he probably needs the power armor in order to keep that attack multiplier, right? Yes. So, yeah. Power armor. Boom. Yang is quite the powerhouse. I mean, he's doing eight hits compared to Cecil's five so that's really good wow even rosa has uh three hits now so that's not bad with her bows and we will put her archery to use she's actually a very good archer bows are good in uh ff4 not so much in the after years sadly but they are very good here they have their uses in the after years, but they really toned down creature type weaknesses in that sequel, unfortunately. Oh, uh, just teleport out, because getting out of this room is a pain in the ass. Yay! Okay. So... We've got all the treasure here. We got the... Well, there's, I think there's two more chests, yeah. There's a couple of cottages. But they're... Later on. Well, we'll get them, but... Not much to them. Uh, let's see. I'd buy some items at this point. Uh, you probably want some Phoenix Downs. That's not a Phoenix Down. You a Phoenix Down? Are you a Phoenix Down? Yes, Mr. Dwarf! Are you a Phoenix Down? Uh, let's see... Probably, about, I like to have about 10 Phoenix Downs, just in case. High Potions, they finally sell them. Uh, you probably should have about 30 of them in total. Yeah, that's pretty good. At this point, you can just sell potions. They're completely useless to you. In fact, uh, nah, I'd save tents. I mean, they, they could still be useful to you. Remedies are too expensive. 
And uh, we're gonna sell some things. Uh, I think I'm gonna rearrange my my equipment here and sort of see what I'm gonna sell. Uh, if I'll, uh, in particular, I know I'm gonna sell the Dwarven Axe, the Mithril Shield, the Whip, Wizard's Hats, uh, Kempo Gi, Gaia Gear, uh, Silver Armlets. I'm gonna hold on to the Flame Sword even though I could sell it. It's technically stronger even though I like the Sleep Blade better. But I'll hold on to it. I don't know. I might switch it in or something. Probably not, but you never know. So I will sort of set up my equipment and then sell things. Or my inventory and then I'll sell things on screen here. So I rearrange things. So I'm back and uh, let's sell that stuff. So I'm getting rid of all of my consumables. Uh, well, I'm getting rid of antidotes and uh, eye drops at this point because, I mean, Cecil has Asuna. I have Rosa too at this point with Asuna, so at least I think she has Asuna, right? Yeah, I mean, there's really no reason to hold on to things for that purpose. So, yeah, I'm just going to sell that, sell those. I mean, I can just use Asuna if I really need to cure poison. I mean, I'm never going to cure poison, but, I mean, eye drops... Yeah, I'll just cast Asuna. Save an inventory slot. If I didn't have limited inventory, I'd keep the stuff, but... Yeah, obviously gonna sell the Whip. Sell the Wizard's Hat. Kempo Gi is just an inferior version of the Black Belt Gi. I don't need Gaia Gear. Silver Omelets have outstayed their usefulness at this point. Uh, Mithril Shield. Don't need that anymore either. We have Elemental Shields. They're better. I'm gonna keep everything else, I believe. Can't get rid of the Miss Graven Blade, sadly. I am gonna store the Ruby Rings. You could sell a Bronze Hourglasses at this point if you want, but I want to hold on to them. They could still be useful. I would hold on to the silver ones for sure. But if you want to save the inventory space, you could. I think that's good. Yeah. Hold on to the claws. We'll be using all of them. Uh, well, actually, we may not be using the Flame Claw, now that I think about it. No, I don't think we are using the Flame Claw, so I'm gonna store the Flame Claw. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. Well, let's go to the, the Choco here. Yeah, I don't think there's literally any enemy weak to fire at this point. I mean, there is, but I don't think it's gonna matter by the time I would use the Flame Claw. Huh. Well, let's use the Gasol Grains, because I'm for sure storing those Ruby Rings. The Fat Chocobo. Funny how this guy's a summon in, uh, FF7. Yeah, everything up, every coming up is, like, weak to ice. So, that's strange. And, yeah, by the time they're weak to fire, I'm not really going to care. So. Oh, well. Yeah, so uh, go ahead and store the Flame Claw. You don't need it right now. We'll want the Ice Claw and Lightning Claws, though, for sure. Uh, yeah, we're going to want the... Oh, I forgot to sell the Dwarven Axe. Whoops. I'll take care of that. Store the Ruby, Ruby Rings. I don't really need those right now. Do I want to withdraw anything? I don't believe so. There's that Mithril Hammer that I got in my original recording attempt game. Oh well, it's not really the game's fault, it's PBR's fault. Oh well, it happens. I need to sell that Dwarven Axe. That Dwarven Axe is so terrible. It is awful. The reason why it's so bad is because it just, it's so inaccurate, you would never want to use that. Let's see, what are we doing here? Uh, Flame Sword, I want to equip the, the Sleep Blade for now. Fairy Claw, Hell Claw. Hmm, I want to have the Ice Claw. Okay, yep, yep, we, we can do that, so... Replace the Fairy Claw by default, because the Hell Claw buff, buffs strength, and uh, that's... Well, it depends on the multipliers. So remember, it's every 8 strength and 16 speed, so... There you go. Yes, I do. So 
I mean, there are enemies still in the game weak to fire, but... Well... The claw won't be very good. <laughs> For reasons. You'll see. But first, uh, cottage, cottage, cottage. Awesome. Let's see, exit. Isn't there a healing pot somewhere? Huh. Must be in the next screen. There should be a free heal point here, which is why I told you not to use the N. There's nothing in those urns. Oh yeah, Rubicante is the strongest of the Archfiends. The only one left at this point. Ah, there it is. Okay. And this healing pot is a great tool to use for farming. Because it's, it's free, it's a quick heal. And... It'll let you, uh, well, f grind some enemies out here. I don't want to do that, but I do want to actually take on the enemies while I'm around here near the healing pot so I can, you know, quickly restore. Let's see. Yeah, we're pretty good there. Oh, uh... You know what? Why don't we equip the flame sword? On. Okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Let's equip the flame, the flame sword on Kane because uh, jump is not impacted by whether he has a spear or not. So don't worry about that. Uh, the spear is throw elemental, however. So I may want. I'm gonna hold on to that spear in case I want to use throw elemental. I have to double check what I want to do for the tower Babel. But anyway, we got uh, armadillo and magma tortoise. Let's see, uh, well, I'm gonna polymorph rod them. I don't think, uh, either of these. Oh no, they're weak to ice. Yeah, I'm just gonna summon Shiva. So, if I can get the Rydia's turn, Shiva. That'll take care of him. Not overly concerned about anything else. If it was just the Armadillo, I would, uh, polymorph rod them. Or Bio. Depends if I want to crowd control them or not. But yeah, Shiva's, the, Shiva's where it's at. Probably more fraud, of course, is free. But yeah, Mamma Turtles, there we die. Just use Shiva on them. Take them out real quick. quick. Uh, simple enough. Takes care of those two guys. Armadillos are not weak to ice, but Shiva's still strong enough. Oh, we got Black Lizards. They're also weak to ice. And they counter with the uh, Stone Gaze. So you're going to want to either toad them to stop that or use Shiva. Uh, I'm going to use Shiva here because there's a bunch of magma tortoises, tortoises so uh, I need Kane to get his turn so I can uh, quickly swap rows here because this is not a good situation. And go ahead and use a uh, nice Shiva. Maybe get a prey off. Nah, we're not getting that off, unfortunately. Now remember, summons do not split. So this will do full damage to all the enemies even though there's four enemies. That's the nice thing about summons. Power-wise, Shiva, Ifrit, and Ramu, uh, they're about as strong as a level 2.5 spell. Unfortunately, Ramu is just not very good. In fact, he's quite horrible uh, because there's basically no enemies left in the game weak to lightning. At least very, very few. And, uh, yeah, it's not good. Eh, we're a little crippled here. Let's go back and use the healing pot. I could have just healed up, but I'm lazy. I don't feel like going to the menu. So I know you're probably wondering, but then Ryzen, why are you using the lightning arrows and the lightning claws? Because they exploit the machine creature type. Which is far more useful to me than the lightning weakness itself. Unfortunately, Ramu does not exploit that. Uh, okay, just run from those guys. I'm looking for an enemy called the Goblin Captain. He's incredibly weak. I'm just going to attack him, but I, I want to get him on the bestiary. Uh, just to kind of finish him off. Okay, well, here's two armadillos, so uh, we're going to use the polymorph rod here. Oops, I uh, wanted to do it on both of them. That's okay. We'll focus the other one then. Take him out in one shot here. Could use jump. Why not? Nice. Eh, we'll have Kane jump him. You'll see that uh, jump is just as effective with a sword. Yep. 
Seriously? Seriously? Fine. I've never gotten that to drop before, now I've gotten two of them to drop. I, I don't know what to tell you. That's just weird. Okay. Okay, well. Fine, whatever. I'll show you a different way to handle these guys. Focus one of them. Get to Rydia. Bio the other one. Bio is instant cast. It's an amazing spell. It's really good. Not elemental. Deals a lot of damage. And Yang takes out the other one. Boom. Bang. There you go. Yeah, Rydia is just awesome. Okay, well. Apparently the Goblin Captain is going to be a jerk to me. So one more attempt and then I'll edit out till I meet the guy. He's pretty common, so I'm surprised. At least I don't remember him being rare. I think he's in the next area anyway, but I just want to meet up with him now while I have the healing pot. Okay, there we go. So uh, I'm going to use Shiva here. Uh, they're incredibly weak. You can just attack them if you want. But since there's a Black Lizard, I want to use Shiva. Well, why not You know, thin them out a little bit? Maybe less than the amount of hits I'm taking. Don't worry about your MP outside. We got cottages. Even when we're going towards the temple. Or the tower. You can speed up those animations by clicking on auto battle, by the way. Ooh, a missile shield that I can sell. Awesome. It's decent money. Not gonna bother selling it now, but you know. Now I know I don't have a bow for for Rosa, but I'm gonna find one anyway in the next area, so don't worry about that. All right, let's start heading to the. Uh, there isn't any. Oh, yeah. Uh, don't use silver apples on Rydia in this version because you may want to hold on to them for a different character later. They, they made some changes to the Game Boy Advance and the PSP version. Although, if you want to still give them to Rydia, you, you can. I mean, she does need... she it, it does help her. But I think she's got enough HP. She's fine. She's not as fragile as she looks. Because she's in the back row. She's got, uh... Well, not much defense, but... Accuracy is so penalized in the back row. I mean, you'll be fine. So, that's all the enemies. Start heading to the Tower of Babel. We won't go into the area, but we can at least go to it. Simple enough. Uh, oh, that's a dead end. Right. We want to stay low. We do want to turn up, but not there. Oh, well, here's a new formation. Uh, how's Young's kick doing? Probably not good enough to take these guys out. I'd be surprised. Nah. Almost, though. But I am going to use bio. Why not? I could have used uh, multi-targeting bio, but I forgot, honestly. <laughs> yeah, bio is the... I think it's the only instant cast spell. Nope, nope, I think there's... Uh, I think Flare is instant cast in this game as well. Quake may also be instant cast. I think so. I think that's it, though. Okay, these guys are so weak. I don't want to edit out goblins. Can re yeah, you see, uh, I'm probably going to turn down the battle speed at this point because you see what's happening with my speed stats and it really starts to become noticeable. Uh, unfortunately, FF4 in the PSP version has a very strange issue where your ATB gauges will hang. I, I don't know why that is, but unfortunately, it's really, really annoying and uh, I'm going to turn down the battle speed as a result. Essentially, it, the game will only proc I think two menus at a time, which is dumb. I, I don't know why that's the case. Maybe it's three. I think it's only two, though, but it's two or three. But yeah, it's bad. I, I don't know what what that's about, but, you know, it's dumb. I can tell you that. So, you know, I want to turn that down so I can not. Ha oh, no, it's three. Okay. So if a fourth character fills up their bar, I can't access their turn. As I'm inputting commands for some reason, 
I mean, I guess I can triangle to it eventually, but... Yeah, it's very weird. Very, very weird. It's a strange, strange issue. Like, notice, see, Rydia and Rosa are not getting their turn. And now she gets her turn. Yeah, th their bars were just not filled. Were just, they were filled, it was pretty much strike, but their actions wouldn't pop up. And that's because I had too many commands queued up. It's... It's bad. Uh, there's no excusing it. Uh, it's... It's just an obnoxious thing that penalizes you for having high battle speed, which... I don't know. I mean, it, it's... It's probably unintended. It's probably a bug. I don't know. But it's not good. It's whatever design changes they made. That didn't happen in the SNES version. kidding me, right? One final battle for posterity. Ridio, you want to do one final Shiva? Why not? And I can show you the auto battle thing. By the way, the dragon summon, I think that's holy elemental, but I would never use it. It's weaker than the other summons. See, I can, uh... Now, the strange thing is when you auto battle and you fast forward an animation, the sound effect is not fast forwarded only the animation so it, it really desyncs things it's weird but whatever it helps it helps you get through it faster so at this point use how many tents do we have I'm just gonna use two tents and uh, end this episode here yeah I need to use a second tent because uh, tents only restore 100 MP sadly so yeah, I really do need to turn the battle speed down a little bit at this point, unfortunately. Oh well, it is what it is. It'll, I might have to turn it down even more later on, because your speeds get, stats get uh, ridiculous in this game, so. Yeah, it's a problem. In the Game Boy Advance version, there was an even worse bug, where sometimes your turn would just proc a second time immediately, which sounds good, except no, it wasn't good, because you would really need to get to, say, you know, like, Tella's turn, or Rose's turn, or Rydia's turn, for some sort of spell, and, you know, Kane's turn would proc twice, and it'd be like, well, what the hell? And it would end up with you getting killed as a result, or taking a lot of extra damage, so kind of dumb, but that doesn't happen here, fortunately. But anyway, next time we'll start the Tower of Babel. It's a pretty lengthy area, so we've got a lot of enemies to get. And uh, I'll equip myself off screen and, you know, we'll go from there. This is Ryzen. Thanks for watching. Take care.